the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 video. In this video, you're gonna see there was another Game of Thrones actor who recently revealed how they honestly feel about the ending of the show. As you all know, Game of Thrones had one of the most divisive endings in television history, and ever since the show went off the air, many of its actors have since revealed how they really felt about the show's final season. In fact, I've already discussed what many of the actors had to say in some of my recent videos. Well, in this new video, you're gonna find out what Amelia thinks of Game of Thrones' final season, now that it's been over four years since it ended. Like I have stated in my other videos, you're gonna start to see a lot more honesty out of the Game of Thrones actors as we get further and further away from its last episode. They won't be as afraid to speak out against David and Dan's writing as the years go by. Now, during an exclusive new interview, Amelia Clark gives more insight into what she actually thought about how Game of Thrones ended. Let's have a look at the article so you know exactly what I mean. Fandom Wire says, Amelia is still furious about Kit Harington getting away with one unforgivable scene that killed Game of Thrones. Not only that, but she also admits to feeling the same way most of the fans have since the show's final season. You'll see what I mean very shortly. Fans have embraced each and every title Amelia's Game of Thrones character Daenerys held throughout the several seasons the show ran. But the one she donned in the very last season did not sit right with many. Although the internet stays divided half the time, it unanimously agreed that the last season of one of the most acclaimed HBO television shows did not serve justice to the beloved characters. So much so, that despite being a staunch defender of the show, over time the Mother of Dragons herself also came to acknowledge that the ending was not the one she had imagined. During her new interview with The Times, the actress complained about all the things that gnawed at her about the ending, including Jon Snow getting away with literal murder. Amelia, who we also know as the one and only Daenerys Targaryen on the show, also did not fully digest the fate of her character. Although the actress voiced her strong support immediately after the release of the most hyped season, as time goes by, she confessed she as well was left dissatisfied like millions of the fans across the globe. The ending of the show had several issues the fans had a problem with. However, the one that stood out the most in agreement among its viewers was Daenerys' sudden and out-of-character actions at the very end. This in turn culminated in her shocking death at the hands of Jon Snow. Now, during this new interview with The Times, she stated, Yeah, I felt for her. I really felt for her, and yeah, I was annoyed that Jon Snow didn't have to deal with something. He got away with murder, literally. Instead of facing execution for what he'd done, he received a sentence to join the Night's Watch by Bran, which infuriated Amelia, and rightfully so. Although I do understand what Amelia means by Jon Snow not facing execution, it wasn't like he got to walk away freely either. Having to live the rest of your life out beyond the wall in the frozen tundra isn't exactly something anyone would wish for, although Jon did not seem very upset by that sentence. I wonder if Amelia thinks Daenerys should have lived at the end of the show, after everything she had done to King's Landing and its residents. Now I know she was very upset with how David and Dan ended her story, but I wonder if she thinks Daenerys did the right thing by burning everyone in the city. I'm not sure if I ever heard her discuss that yet. Now let's see what else she had to say. In addition to her own disappointment with the fate of her character on the show, the actress also openly voiced her concerns about the ending of the show, confessing that the finale might not resonate with its millions of devoted fans. In that same interview, she stated, I knew how I felt about the ending when I first read it, and I tried at every turn to not consider too much of what other people might say. But I always did consider what the fans might think, because we did it for them, and they were the ones who made us successful. So it's just polite, isn't it? Now, it's what she actually says next that I find very interesting, because I've never heard her say this before. Adding to this... She also acknowledged that the show could have taken its sweet time to roll out the curtains rather than taking the rushed approach that hurt them in the end. She said, It was all about the set pieces. I think the sensational nature of the show was possibly given a huge amount of airtime because that's what makes sense. We could have spun it out for a little longer. Well, we can now add Amelia to the ever-growing list of Game of Thrones actors who now feel the show was ended much too soon. Not only did she dislike Daenerys' ending, but now she finally admits the entire show as a whole should not have ended when it did. 
It's actually kind of sad to know Amelia has finally come to the realization that David and Dan shifted their focus from the amazing characters to the show's massive sets and locations. Unfortunately, the show that once had some of the greatest writing I'd ever seen eventually devolved into nothing but empty or shallow spectacle. Like I've said before, this will not be the last time we hear the actor say something like this. Most of them were not ready to say things like this immediately after the show ended because they themselves were ready to work on something else. Not only that, but some of them were most likely afraid to say anything out of fear of losing any future work. Well, now a lot of them no longer feel the same way they once did. Now that they've had several years to reflect on what actually happened during that final season of the show. Hopefully they now realize that all of the fans still stand with them. Why is it ending? Uh, I don't know. Ask David and Dan when they come through. Um, we could have gone to 11, 12, 13 seasons, but uh, they, I guess they wanted a life. Uh, <laughs> so you wanted it to keep going. Well, it, it, you know, if you've read the, my novels, you, you know there was enough material for, for more seasons. Uh, they made certain cuts, um, but, but that's fine. We have five other shows, five prequels in development that are based on other periods in the history of Westeros. Some of them just 100 years before Game of Thrones, some of them 5,000 years before Game of Thrones. Have you shot your final scenes yet, and are you happy with how things ended? Yes. <laughs> she didn't say yes. You didn't say yes. Best season ever. <laughs> it's the best. What was it like shooting those final scenes, though, and you knew it was final? So sad. So sad, but then everyone gets ready for the emotion, and everyone's there being like, oh, it's going to be the lot. How many more takes are we going to, we're just going to, and then it kind of wears off, and everyone's like, okay, bye. We were yeah. all up, we were like, oh, this is the last one, this is yeah. the last scene, and then there's, there's like four angle? takes in, you're like, yeah. oh, this is, okay, the momentum's dropped yeah. a little bit Gone. now. Yeah, that happened on, yeah. on like what was supposed to be my last day. Oh I my finished, <laughs> and then they were like, "Oh, but you need a pick. We've got a pickup of you um, in a month's time." And I was like, "Oh, oh. okay, see you in a month."